Hello everybody, how's it going? So uh, today's the day, today's the day the camper van has arrived in Las Vegas. I'm really, really uh, looking forward to uh, getting it and uh, driving it home from uh, the Gold Coast. Um, the transport guys uh, meet me down there, so um, just gonna, uh, I'm going to get an Uber down. I was going to go down in my car, but then I thought, well, I'm going to have to go back down later on and get my car. So I thought I might as well just get an Uber down and, uh, and just drive it back. I mean, I'm not messing around, I'm going to, you know, go back down there later on and get my car. So, um, yeah, we're going to bring it up. Unfortunately, uh, my housemate uh, is parked in the spot where my camper van's going to go, so he's going to have to park on the street or find somewhere else to park, because uh, that's going to be my parking spot. Um, I'll probably end up parking my truck over here, actually, because I used to park my truck here before. I used to park my truck here. Uh, to tell you the truth, mm, I don't know, it depends how wide this this gap is i think it's a little bit too narrow one two three four five six seven eight all oh, right okay well it's about eight foot so it's about just short of nine feet so i was wondering if i actually got rid of that uh if i got rid of that um flower bed thing whatever it is eventually i could actually park it right up against this wall if i had it right up against the wall as well then uh you know it protrude out just a tiny little bit maybe only a little bit, maybe about a foot, but um, yeah, I could put it there, move all this stuff down there, and then uh, that'd free up some space. But for for the time being, it's going to pretty much go here. Um, there's plenty of room for it to fit in here. I'm going to chop that tree down a little bit. I'm actually, I want to remove that tree altogether, to tell you the truth. But um, yeah, it's going to going to go there. Um, so yeah. So we're just waiting for the Uber to arrive and then, uh, then we're going to go see the van and drive it up and I've got my keys. Uh, I've just got all the import documents as well, the EPA documentation and everything as well. That's all just been sent over to me today so pretty much getting uh, ready to uh, have all the paperwork to register it as well. Uh, I've just got all the German title um, uh, titles converted into English, um, got printouts of them and I had to get them uh, done by an approved um, translator uh, and also get them notarised as well and then I'll be taking them up to the DMV. Once I've got the DMV I can get a mover's permit, once I've got a mover's permit then I can get it insured and then I can then drive it for an inspection and then get it uh, inspected and registered. But I'm not going to do that in Nevada, I'm going to do it in Arizona as I own a piece of property out there and Arizona is so much better for registering vehicles than Nevada. Nevada's an absolute rip off. So I really don't want to have to register it in Nevada if I can. Um, I pretty much have most of all my cars all registered in Arizona. My business is registered out there as well because Nevada's not very business friendly when it comes to uh, registering businesses. It's expensive. Um, you can't, uh, your business license isn't perpetual either. It's, um, you have to renew it every year and it's like $600, $700. So um, yeah, that's why I moved my business over to um, Arizona. It's uh, more cost effective. Unless you're a billionaire, big corporation, and you pay a flat rate of uh, income tax uh, for being a casino, then it's beneficial. But if you're a small business, um, I don't think uh, Nevada's all that, all that, all that great to tell you to run a business. But anyway, back to the camper van. Um, I'm going to um, start the video again when I get there, do an overrun, and then the first start, and then uh, driving it through uh, the streets of Las Vegas.